Welcome to 429 Edgewater Drive, this lovely two bedroom, one and a half bath home with a two car garage, Florida room, private dock, as well as updated luxury vinyl tile flooring inside. It's located in the Edgewater Shores subdivision sitting on beautiful Lake Murray in Prosperity, South Carolina. It's convenient to nearby Chapin, as well as Columbia via I-26, and just a couple of minutes from Dreer Island State Park. So we're outside in front of the home. You can see the home sits on a nice sized lot with mature landscaping and trees. You have a nice wide driveway that comes off of the street. Plenty of parking inside. As we mentioned, the property is on the lake, so you do have ample parking out front. To the right of the two-car garage entry for boat or other recreational vehicle parking as well that is paved. As you can see, entry to the two-car garage is here. It is a semi-detached garage, meaning that you is somewhat attached to the home, but you do have to exit to access it, so it's no direct entry from the home. Nice mature landscaping as you approach the front as well, where you have a covered front porch, frosted glass detailing on the entry door, and as soon as you walk inside, you'll notice the beautiful luxury vinyl tile flooring that is in that is throughout the home. You have some updated light fixtures in here as well, as well as ceiling fans. So again, once you enter, there is a huge family room off the entry. You can see lots of windows, view straight through to the lake itself, and really nice window out to the front yard also. You have a ceiling fan, as we mentioned in here, as well as a wood-burning fireplace along the left wall and has stone hearth and nice tile as well as a uh, pre-existing or built-in TV mount and some uh, electrical connections as well. Through the sliding glass door directly in front of you, you can have access to the beautiful floor room off the back of the home. You can see that it is huge. It runs along the length of the living space here also accessible from one of the bedrooms and from some additional den and sort of guest space on the right side as well. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and take you just quickly out back so you can see the view out. So you can see a nice yard out back. You have some privacy fencing on the left side and you open sort of to the left, but beautiful cove on Lake Murray and you can see you also do have the private dock access there as well. So back inside so off of the living space you do have the formal dining room to our right here is a really nice size and it connects to of course the kitchen which also has a nice size eat-in dining area and counter bar on this side in the kitchen you have included a stainless steel french door refrigerator as well as a three, excuse me, four burner gas range and oven, and also a dishwasher. Ample cabinet and countertop space as well. And then right off the back of here, you have an additional room. It is sort of a den and kind of functions as a guest space as well. So you can see, again, you have sort of three walls of windows to enjoy the lake views. And also on this wall, you can see I uh, have it pulled apart and separated right now, but uh, behind these sliding shelves, which basically create a wall of shelves, you do have a Murphy bed 
which basically is just a sort of fold-up bed that fits into a cavity in the wall that you can fold out and that becomes a guest space so it can be used as a third bedroom if you'd like or just some nice guest space and if you don't need it for that purpose you can slide both of these shelves right back into place and just have a wall of shelving and it also does connect to the floor to room or screen to porch as well so through this space you also have on this side a full-size laundry room with full, with uh, excuse me side-by-side -side washer dryer connections some built-in shelving the sprinkler controls are in here as well and then also you have the full bathroom with a nice modern white floating vanity and commode and you can see a nice big mirror and some updated lighting there also and then access to the garage is off of the back door here. Cute little chalkboard paint wall on the left as you go out. So you go outside and then through this door, so not far. It is covered as well, so you don't have to get wet to access that space. But you step into the garage, you can see it is nicely appointed. There is a small or mid-sized SUV parked inside right now to give you an idea of scale. You have a really nice built-in workshop area over here also. So a slat wall, which you can put all types of uh, hanging components, shelving. There's a bunch of stuff built in for you to use there already, as well as the workbench and some shelving or some cabinetry below. And then on this side, you have just a wall of really great storage and a window there for some natural light as well. And then out here on the side, basically you just have a side yard that's sort of privately enclosed. You can see there's a gate that's open right now that you can access the backyard through, but that does close. So this is a sort of a completely closed off, just private side yard space that you can use also. And then last but not least, we'll show you the bedrooms that are on the opposite side of the living room. You have two and they share one full bathroom. The first of two has a ceiling fan here and accesses the screen porch as well. Has two closets, both bedrooms do actually. This one has some built-in shelving in one and this one's just more of a standard closet with tall hanging space. Full bathroom matches the vanity and mirror and lighting and the waterfall fixture in there and then you also have in here as you can see the so two shower heads with the handheld also and that medicine cabinet on that wall there's an attic pull down in the hallway as well as well as one in the garage so maybe some possible storage in either or both of those and last but not least your second bedroom also with a nice updated ceiling fan faces the front of the home and you have two closets in here pretty much identical just beside behind two by four doors it might actually just be one closet that connects and it indeed is so that completes our tour of this lovely property in prosperity on lake murray address again is 429 Edgewater Drive. You can find out more information online at sc.purepm.co.